First of all, install the oil seal of the final driven axle in crankcase using an oil seal punch. Then install the final driven axle bearing in the crankcase using a special tool bearing punch. Tighten the two screws of the bearing stopper plate. Lubricate all the bearing and oil seal. Install the bearing on crankshaft using the crankshaft oil seal installer tool. Now, install the crankshaft into the left hand crankcase. And pull the crankshaft left end into the crankcase with the special tool. Then install the crankshaft left hand oil seal by using the special tool. Then install the shim of suitable thickness by conforming it with shim selection method. Degrease the crankshaft web shim and the inner race of right crankshaft bearing. Then place the shim of 0.7 mm thickness. And put three pieces of plastic gauge of 10 mm length on the shim. Now install the right hand crankcase. and tighten the bolts with a 10 newton meter torque again separate the crankcase using the special tool Then measure the width of the compressed plastic gauge with the envelope scale. Calculate the shim thickness by keeping the crankshaft thrust clearance between 0.02 to 0.07 mm. After selecting the proper size of shim, place it on the right side of crankshaft. Now, clean and degrease the crankcase meeting surface that is both the surfacers with the cleaning solvent then fit the dowel pin into the left crankcase apply the suzuki bond to the mating surface of the right crankcase remember ensure that you coat the sealant evenly without a break the application of sealant must be performed within a short period of time. Take extreme care not to let the sealant enter into the oil hole or the bearing. Now install the crankcase. Tighten the 7 crankcase bolt using an 8mm deep socket 
at a specified torque of 10 Newton meters. Remember, after the crankcase bolts have been properly tightened, ensure that the crankshaft rotates smoothly. If the crankshaft is not rotating smoothly, try to free it by tapping it with a plastic hammer. 